Hello all, how are you? Um, I just wanted to do a very quick video, hopefully anyway, um, a bit of an update on the uh, steam condenser assembly unit. So I've not used it yet on brew day, uh, but I was quite intrigued as to actually how it worked in practice. So I'm talking about the, uh, the spray nozzle specifically. So that, so the bit that basically sprays water into the, uh, the two inch piping to therefore yeah, cold water to therefore condense the steam uh, so I assumed it was going to be like a spray and a mist but I just wanted to check it out uh, but also to yeah do a, do a bit of a dry run well, using water it's not dry but uh, you know what I mean because um, I didn't want to get to brew day and it go tits up so I thought you know be prepared be sensible and do things right so I did uh, now, when I bought the steam assembly, there was a couple of recommendations on the uh, Malt Mill website. I'm not sure if it's on the Brew Tools website, but um, yeah, it, it was suggested to use a hose lock, uh, a hose lock adapter. I think I may, maybe I'm making that up. Uh, I, I feel like it's there, or at least I thought uh, of it myself. If that's not the case, uh, because I almost ordered one when I ordered the steam condenser, and I didn't couple of reasons main reason being I just wanted to kind of see what what I was getting first uh, and then yeah make an educated um, stab at then what I needed subsequently rather than just making assumptions because I wasn't quite sure you know how it all kind of fit together you know with the unit itself and obviously the water connections and the piping and stuff so I tried to use uh, the pipes, the 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 kind of you know the the tubes and things like that. So that I think it's like a twelve mil in a diameter piping that I had connected to yeah a reducer to a smaller bit of silicon piping that then connected to an adapter to the tap and I ran the uh, the spray nozzle with that kind of you know totally fudged setup which works okay um, with the counter floor chiller. Because you're just pumping water around and around and you know in and out and you're not pushing the water through under pressure not not very much at least anyway uh, but with the spray nozzle you, you are and obviously it highlights a number of points of failure so I'll cut to a video showing that running nothing drastic uh, but you'll see that it's totally fudged together so let's have a look at that. So you can at least see what the spray nozzle's doing. Uh, it's, it's spraying. So <laughs> I was just curious. I just wanted to know. Um, but you'll have noticed that there was water dripping all over the place. You've got three points of failure. So one, the um, yeah, the, the uh, piece of silicon that's connected to the tap adapter. I think it's like a nine mil barb or something. Then I've got the reducer or increaser, a piece of plastic that yeah takes it from the small. Bit of tubing to the wider bit of tubing, uh, another point of failure there. And I did put a Jubilee clip on that screw thumb, uh, screw thread thing, um, which helped, but it's on super tight and it's still dripping. And uh, it's the same, yeah, it's the same kind of where the uh, the, the 12 mil barb, uh, the, the piping connects to the 12 mil barb on this, so that was that was so tight, and you can see it's dripping all over the place. So, what I'm doing. I've got a hose lock adapter, hose lock to 34 mil tri clamp. So you can see, um, 80 pounds each at the time of recording uh, from the Mont Miller in the UK. So thanks guys. Uh, I actually got two. I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to replace that with that. Uh, I'm just going to have the second one on the counterflow chiller so that I can yeah basically disconnect the water in. To the uh, to the steam condenser, um, yeah. When that's finished, you know, disconnect it and then you know uh, connect it super easy to the other hose lock fitting. That's on the counterflow chiller to start cooling the water. 
So yeah, so I also got there's freaking adapters everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a 22 mil to oh, 22 mil, so that's gonna go into the um, the aerator. I've actually got another adapter for that for the tap that I'm working with at the moment in the kitchen. So nothing's ever straightforward, but that's a 22 mil to I think it's a half inch BSP or one that basically a, a screw thread to connect a standard hose lock. Uh, male fit into a uh, female fit into rather sorry okay so yeah so that's going to go into the uh, kitchen tap so to give me the water going to run a one and a half meter hose lock so a little mini hose pipe uh, so one and a half meters is fine for me at the moment so yeah so I'm going to run it from the water to the uh, yeah to the steam condenser so let's give that a go and hopefully it'll be okay. <sighs> Let's try that again. So that was a little bit better. Um, <laughs> so you can see, obviously, because it's a pressure nozzle, that increased pressure is just like, yeah, I mean, the water's just kind of bursting out of the seams wherever it can kind of find, you know, the opportunity. Um, so even with the proper stuff, you know, even with the hose pipe, the hose locks and everything like that, I still had to make sure everything was super tight. Um, so the, the tap, I, I knew I hadn't kind of, you know, put them on you know maybe as tight as I should have done because I'm just testing it but yeah I'll, I'll even in the last video you could maybe see a little trickle uh, coming from the tap from connectors nothing major but uh, when I get to brew day I'll, I'll just make sure you know I get a spanner on that and wrench it up I just hand tightened it for today um, on the kind of the outlet side so you know that side um, yeah obviously there's a bit of a leak uh, quite a lot of a leak to start with not from anything to do with the brew tools that you know that that performed impeccably uh but kind of from the hose pipe um so the kind of the join between the hose pipe and um yeah the where the kind of the hose goes into the hose lock uh fitting so yeah i kind of had a bit of a play with that tweaked it a little bit it seemed fine after that so Hopefully that's not going to give on brew day and you know the worst that we have is a bit of a trickle um, so overall fairly comfortable with it um, <laughs> So this uh, yeah, I think the standard nozzle is at 1.1 bar pressure. I believe correct me if I'm wrong uh, That's the nozzle that comes with um, The steam condenser as standard you can get a lower pressure rating nozzle um, Not in stock at the moment, I don't believe at the Malt Miller at the time of recording. I might, I might get that if it, you know, if it becomes available and it's not too expensive. I, I don't think they're, they're massively expensive um, from when I checked on the Brew Tools website. Um, just for a little bit of peace of mind, <laughs> thinking more than anything. Uh, this is blasting out, as you can kind of see. You know, it is blasting out, Miss. I, I, I think what I'll probably do is I'll run, when I run it for the first time, uh, I'm not going to have the tap all the way open, so it's a mixer tap at the moment, I'm not going to have it all the way open, I'll, I'll just have it kind of halfway and see how we get on, um, so provided there's no kind of steam, you know, coming out at the end, and, I, and then the, the outlet, then uh, I think we're, we should be good, um, okay, so anyone that's interested, so the, the way, the my tap at the minute, so there's loads of adapters that you may or may not need um, so the mixer tap that I've got at the minute uh, is a 24 mil um, 
aerator that screws inside the kind of overall top so you might have been able to see um, now like I mentioned before I've got a 22 mil fitting now this I'm led to believe now fits kind of the vast majority of modern uh, kitchen taps uh, where the aerator where it basically screws over the aerator uh, thread and that's 22 mil female <clears throat> so what I needed to do for the kitchen tap which is where I am at the moment is have a 20 I don't know if you can see that, a 24 mil to 22 mil kind of reducer so the top bit screwed into the kitchen tap that then screwed into that like that and then that screwed into that like that so yeah just something to bear in mind yeah i mean it's not not specific to kind of you know the steam condenser or anything like that but just water connections in general when you're brewing at home just something to kind of bear in mind um you know one thing leads to another right nothing's ever straightforward so anyway enough rambling um i just wanted to put this out there just to kind of give you an idea of you know how i'm getting on with it um some of the other considerations that you might want to think about if you guys are thinking of um, you know make, maybe making this purchase and getting the steam condenser from brew tools um, if you do good on you i hope you find it useful uh, so please do like share subscribe or nearly 200 subscribers it's incredible uh, so thank you all for subscribing all 189 of you at the moment so uh enjoy the rest of your day whatever you're doing and uh, take care